Time just released its second annual list of the hundred of the world's greatest places. Okay, now this is up to some researchers and industry experts and time correspondents all over the world. So your list may vary, but here are a few that we found that are pretty cool. Okay, okay. I can't wait. I was just trying to think, what is my, where is the coolest place I've been? And I don't know. I don't Probably like some little village in Mexico. I yes, love Mexico. The used people. To go to Mexico. The, yes. yes. I lived I there for a while. I still don't speak Spanish, but I tried. <laughs> That's right. She tried, and uh -huh. she was like, oh, "I'm just going to look." Yes. Um, I would have to say. I mean, I haven't been that many places around right. the world, but um, it, I just Italy. When last year we went, two years ago, mm -hmm. we went to Positano, and oh my so gosh, pretty. Capri! It's yeah. just. So beautiful. Yeah, Capri. let us know where yes. are your favorite places. Exactly. I'm very we'd, interested. We'd love to hear love from to you. I love and too why. when you get out and you travel, and then you're like, it gives you such a travel bug, and then you never want to not travel. I know. You know? I know. Get so out and see I'm, the world. I'm excited to hear this list. Okay, so the first one is Camp Adventure in Denmark. So it opened its 45 meter tall hourglass shaped tower in March. It has a spiraling walkway that allows people to climb above the forest canopy for panoramic views of the surrounding, okay? There's also zip lines and an 18 acre tree climbing course. So this is not for the faint of heart. This is for somebody no, who not. likes to go on a vacation and do some things. You're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit if you're not into climbing and hiking and taking pictures. That is of incredible. Vista. I get a little bit of fear of heights sometimes, so yes. that would be. Yeah, right. it's a little scary. Yeah, I, but again, if you're an adventurer, yes. I love that. There's a few more adventure type places to go on this list. This next one is somewhere I've wanted to go for a long time, but it's in Tokyo, Japan. It's the Mori Building Digital Art Museum. This is incredible. The world's first Ooh. museum solely dedicated to digital art has drawn huge crowds. It celebrated its one millionth visitor five months after opening wow. in June of last year. So obviously, the culture these days is you got to put it on Instagram or it didn't happen, but it's a very <laughs> right. Instagram worthy immersive environment. It uses a combination of visual projections and physical installations to allow you to oh, wade through virtual windblown glass fields, um, explore a seemingly infinite crystal world, and bounce between galaxies. That is just beautiful. It makes me feel a little dizzy. Yeah. But I'd be into it. I would be mm -hmm. into that. That's gorgeous. Yes. Mom went to Japan, but she I did? think she went before. That museum opened. Oh, yeah, well, she loved it. Really? She would have mm -hmm. been Instagramming everywhere. Yes. No, she doesn't know how. <laughs> she can barely get her to use that <laughs> self. Just kidding, Mom, if you're watching. Right. She's watching. Hi. Um, this next one is right here in the good old US of A. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. So this is Disneyland, which is in California. It's Disneyland's largest ever single land expansion. And we should note the first allowing alcohol. So you can go there and have a beer while you walk around. There you whatever go. Whatever you fancy. Okay. The 14 acre land brings Planet Batu and its trading post to life along with two new rides. That's incredible. I remember when this opened because I believe they had like a media night because a lot of my friends that live out there that work were posting about yes. it. Yes. I would cool. like to go to that. Yeah. Although I think uh, you guys were making fun of me, maybe Crash was, because oh. I've seen all the old Star Wars movies. But sure. I haven't seen any. I haven't <laughs> Gotta either. catch up. I know. Yes. Because I feel like I should be into that. It's like a pop pop culture yes, thing that you should just know about. Absolutely. I know. All right. Yeah. Well, that will be we'll our work next on list. That. Things yeah. that you need to watch oh, yes. to be in the know. That's I like good. That. Wait, this next one is the Transcaucasian Trail. This is very interesting. I was That's what I was looking at on my computer because I was fascinated. Okay. So this is over a few regions, Armenia and the Republic of Georgia. And what it is is 12 villages and national parks that they are trying to bring together. So they're creating paths and railways, well, <laughs> roadways, roadways to get it. there. Um, and you can join a volunteer effort. They take treks and hikes and you're actually making the roads. It's been <gasps> long shepherded by shepherds and people trying to get from village to village, but now they're trying to make it more accessible for people to get around in that part of the world. That it's is fascinating. beautiful. Yeah, so you can volunteer, you can donate to help make these trails. Lace these trails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's uh, really neat. Especially for these remote villages. Yeah. What a cool 18, experience. 18,000 miles is what they're working on. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's really I love cool. That. Yeah, it spans across this the country. This is not what I thought. You know, yeah. I like that these are kind of well. I guess they're trying to find like more obscure places right. and and things that maybe the the vast majority right. of people are just you missing out on because we don't know. Well, you know, now they say the um, the trend for vacationing is to do something that's more meaningful. So when you go on vacation, you might volunteer somewhere or right. join a project 
Um, whereas it used to be more for leisure, yes. now it is can yeah. also be for helping and yeah, making the world a better and, place. Uh, yeah. I love that mission work. Okay, so the next one is the VIC Library in Hanoi, Vietnam. So this is this is really cool. It's part library, part urban farm, part playground. This farming architects project in Hanoi is geared toward teaching kids about ecosystems and agriculture. The library's climbable wooden structure contains both a collection of books and a mini ecosystem comprising of a garden, a fish pond, and a chicken coop. And it's all connected How through cool. aquaponics. All right, so waste from the koi pond is used as fertilizer to help the vegetables grow. Which cleanses the water and returns it to the pond oh. and me and the children are all learning about this at the same time yes we are that is incredible <laughs> Isn't that neat? I know. those were so good so you can check all those out yeah. put them on your bucket list put, put them all mm -hmm. on your bucket list and of course the extensive list maybe we'll have Trent yes. post that article on our mm -hmm. Facebook page so you can mm -hmm. see that yeah, Thank if you, you don't have your passport just go